What's everybody? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while, man. It's been a while. What's everybody? What's everybody doing? <laughs> Jacking off? <laughs> now you are. Um, wait, wait. So this is our first video for the hub. Yeah. <laughs> the uncensored version goes on the hub. Oh, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> that's not a bad idea. Patreon. Yeah. There you go. I'll put a Patreon exclusive. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right. Not, but... <laughs> nah, any bit we need to take out will be Patreon. Um, okay. All right, so this is Honey Pop 2. Uh, I absolutely adore the first game because uh, it's just a lot of fun. Um, and so me and Esau are going to play it. Uh, I've never touched anything of this game, and I, I know Esau hasn't seen any either. Um, yeah, I literally got spoiled on all the girls minutes before seeing this title screen. The spoiler was the title screen, apparently. <laughs> They're just I I, Bro, I I can't wait to see the secret characters. Honestly, Sam. We I gotta keep I gotta keep an eye out. We gotta make sure we don't miss anything. I'm hoping for not like a dumb cat girl, but like an actual like Like a better cat cute. girl. Yeah. <laughs> or Celeste to come back. I fucking love that that fucking alien. Mm-hmm. Uh so I can see that okay, before we start, I, my first impressions. I see that Jesse and Lola came back, which, Bro, to be honest, fact, you know their names blew my fucking mind. I I I was like, I recognize this uh this this chick in the middle, and I was like okay, and then I was I, I looked at the the witch card on the, on the right, and I was like that, that girl kind of looks like familiar, and of course there's the fairy whose name is like Q or something. Yeah, Q. That's right. So thanks, Brain. These three came back, I, and then that everyone Duncan? else. Wait, um. Holding the star. <laughs> I don't see the star. Oh, oh, oh that does straight up look like Junko. <laughs> Lying to you? <laughs> I was like, what star? I was looking for a yellow one. Uh, all right, well, let's just jump into it. I'm excited. All right, new game. Um, what icon? I guess it doesn't matter. I like Ashley. I like Ashley. I love Ashley, in fact. <laughs> All right. We're male. Are we the average guy? Are we Chad? No, I don't want to, I don't want to bitch mode. Let's go incel. <laughs> you want incel? Yeah, let's go incel, bro. Okay, fuck it. But if we're incel, we have to be a... Nah, actually, no male incel. We gotta be... Polly's junk. What does that even mean? Is this a trans Any... character? I'm gonna guess... No? Well, because Polly, I'm gonna guess that I can just I'm gonna I'm gonna Google it. Fuck it. I thought I I is it cut or uncut? Is that what they're asking me? I don't. Who's Polly? Oh, Polly is a character. Yeah, so a trans character, and this is that they have a vagina or their post op or pre op. Oh. Pre op. What do you want to do? Dice roll, flip a coin. All right. Uh, heads for heads for Howdy. penis, <laughs> and then <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, hey Siri, flip a coin. Flip a coin. It's heads. All right, all right. We know what to do now. Get the dick. Yep. All right. Start new game. I realize I don't care if you have it on in some mode because you're playing. Yeah. And you have to edit out all the failures. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. This is new. Like, I'm going to bump the volume real quick. There's lore? lore? According to legends passed down from ages long past, an era of darkness and destruction draws near. Deep within the endless sea of stars, stirs an ancient evil forgotten by time. The Nymphogen. Spirits of limitless lechery lying dormant in the cosmos. Awoken only once every 10,000 years by a cosmic super period of unspeakable PMS. <laughs> With symptoms right. so severe and desires so destructive, entire galaxies have been consumed by the chaos. This is the most confused boner I've ever had. It is said that only a hero of unparalleled prowess can overcome the insatiable lust of the demonic pair 
the demonic and return them peacefully to a satisfied <laughs> slumber. As the dreaded day looms upon an unsuspecting world, no such savior has risen to stand against the threat. And Earth is left defenseless against certain doom. Wait... Actually? I might know somebody... That's us. Uh, 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 oh. Uh, 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 Patreon? <laughs> Patreon. Uh, I don't know who this is, but I love I her. I really needed that. This Ashley? I don't know. Um, always, uh, always happy to help a girl in need. Oh, you're still here? I thought I was done with you. What? No cuddling? Um. So I know what I would say. I'll let you pick the dialogue because I'll probably play this in my own her. time. All right, cool. What? No cuddling. <laughs> okay, that was also Sorry, mine. Sorry, dude. Not tonight. I gotta get back home and start packing. <laughs> I live in England. I have a crazy early flight tomorrow. My boss is sending me out to some island for an exotic shoot. Then I'm supposed to meet up with this Teleuber chick for a cross promo we've been planning. <sighs> it's not what? easy being a world class <laughs> fashion model, you know? <clears throat> uh, give me one second. <laughs> oh, I can't. Um, I'll remind, remind me to go into settings later. Okay, we'll do. Uh, you think... Bro, the first one killed me. <laughs> you, you think that's hard? Try being a world class pleaser of women. Bon voyage. <laughs> Try not to miss me too much. <laughs> Leave the panties. I kind of have a thing for collecting panties. Leave the panties. I can't have a thing about collecting panties. I want that can't one. help you there, Perv. I borrowed this lingerie from the company. I'm pretty <laughs> sure they need it back. They haven't even released this line yet. Now, where did you throw my clothes? In the ah, furnace. The there they are. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> I was hoping it would give us well, a dialogue option. Aren't you at least gonna walk me back to my car? Is, the answer is no, by the way. Do you think that the icon we chose is the girl we started with? Maybe. That's pretty cool. Oh, yes, your majesty. It would be my honor. Shall I carry your belongings too? Yeah, of course. Just let me throw something on real quick. Only if I get a kiss goodnight. I'm going to have to go with the second one. The other two are just too cringe. Yeah. <laughs> nah, relax, dude. I'm just messing with you. I didn't even drive it. Later, sweet cheeks. Keep that thing nice and hard for me for when I get back. <laughs> no, it's going soft! Well, 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 look at this motherfucker. I leave you alone for a year or two and you're banging models on the reg? <sighs> I really am a miracle worker. It's like, I gotta check my door's locked. <laughs> you gotta stop invading my home, Q. Alright, we're good. Q, holy shit, where have you been? I missed you. Psh, that was nothing. She's the fourth girl this week. Can I perchance interest you in some sloppy seconds? Offer some. Yes. Oh, you know I love me a messy mulligan. But unfortunately, I'm here strictly on business. Look, I'm going to cut right to the chase because time isn't exactly on our side here. Some seriously crazy shit is about to pop off, and we need your help to stop it. Bro, they're using, like, modern slang, and I hate it. It's, like, <laughs> almost modern slang. It's the worst. <laughs> it's slang that started being development. Um, Pop off, dude. Pop off. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'll do it. I've had a lot of girls to... I, I have a lot of girls to bang this week. You can't find anybody else? As long as this somehow involves my genitalia, I'm in. <laughs> of course it involves your genitalia. You think I'd be here if it didn't? To make a long story short, there are these two, like, evil space hookers that are about to be awoken. And if they don't get some wicked good dick, they're probably gonna destroy the galaxy. And that would really windows. suck because Earth has some of the <laughs> finest babes in the universe next to Tendricide. You see, part of my job as a love fairy is to find a worthy hero among all the pathetic virgins. Unfortunately, we couldn't find one, so you'll have to do instead. 
consider it done. I mean, how hard could it be? I've nailed a space chick before. It's an honor to be chosen for this most sacred duty. I'll do my best. Don't even read the last one. All right. <laughs> I'm just going to be the first one, by the way. <laughs> I strongly advise you not to underestimate just how horny these semen demons can be. I'll be honest with you, man. The higher-ups are concerned about your lack of experience with threesomes. But I told him you're a quick learner. Besides, you did bag the fucking goddess of love. That's gotta count for something, right? So, put on some goddamn underwear and pack your bags. Our flight leaves first thing in the morning. Is my cock just out? <laughs> yeah. You got it. Give me five minutes. I'll be packed and ready to go. Uh, am I allowed to ask exactly where we're going? Wait, you don't want me to? You don't want to sit down and catch up? I haven't seen you in you like forever. I want the lore. Do a second one. You let me worry about that. You just worry about looking pretty. Mama Sugar Dust will take care of everything. Can you believe it, man? The old Mama team Sugar back Dust? together <laughs> again for another sexy Her name adventure. Q, Sugar Dust. It might be. I guess so. It might be. That's the lore, dude. Oh, are we gonna meet what's her face? Isn't she an airplane attendant? I can't attendant? believe you humans True. have to get into big machines just to do something as simple as flying. I hate to say it, but if it wasn't for all the honey you guys generate, you'd be pretty useless. I thought we were the second hottest people in the galaxy. <laughs> but the first are so hot that we're not necessary. Honestly. I'll remind you that th it's a human that's about to save the galaxy. Are you going to tell me where we're going yet? What about porn? We generate a lot of that, too. That one. Porn. Mm, yeah, good point. You guys do make some pretty nasty-ass shit. Anyway, this is probably a good time to fill you in on the plan, huh? We are headed to the beautiful tropical island of Ina de Puna. Why, I you may hate ask? It. Shh, <laughs> I'm getting to that. You can ask questions when I'm done. You see, the Nymphogen... Those are the space hookers, are on the verge of being awoken by their period. If that happens, you can kiss your sorry ass goodbye. So, we need to wake them up before that. There's a volcano on the island called Mount Nymphojaro. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who names this shit. <laughs> if we can get that volcano to erupt, it should be enough to awaken the Nymphogen early. But, the only way to get that bitch to blow is to offer a sacrifice. A sacrifice of fairy wings. I'm sure you're wondering, what the hell are fairy wings? I thought I told you to stop asking questions. No one said anything. You ever hear the <laughs> phrase, whenever a threesome is had, a love fairy gets her wings? Yeah, well, that's actually true. So we need to get you mixed up in some menage a trois. As much as I'd fucking love to be more involved, unfortunately, love fairies don't count. Besides... Corporate said I have to stop fucking my clients. Can you believe that shit? <laughs> <sighs> oh man, they have to see me Ben. Locking down a three-way can be tricky. <laughs> the best way to do it is by going on double dates. Not the lame kind of double date where it's two couples. The cool kind where it's you and two chicks. You'll need oh, some yeah, fresh love fairy tech though. That crusty ass honeybee 4.0 is way out of date. So... Da -da -da -da, Dude, Honey Bee 69, please. The brand 69. new Honey Bee 6XL with threesome compatibility <laughs> detection package. When she said Go 6, I was like, check it out. <laughs> when you're done, you can close it by clicking I saw the swag trip down your brow. Uh, oh, shit. I feel like a fucking car exploded near me. I thought you heard my, my one of the puppies bark. <laughs> uh, Let's go for the second one. I want lore. All right. You're asking the wrong fairy. That kind of intel is way above my pay grade. Oh, is there a pay grade? I thought I heard a familiar oh, voice back here. <laughs> hey, stranger. Long time no see. It would no be me way. to remember the lore. <laughs> tight ass flight attendant you used to bang? Oh man, can I book a flight or what? Small world, huh? I never thought I'd bump into you on one of my routes. By the way... Uh, who are you talking to? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm invisible. You must look like a crazy person back here. 
<laughs> Why did I buy, buy two tickets? Hey Lola, I didn't know you still worked at Tropica Airlines. It's good to see you. What have you what are you up to these days? Wow, I really like your new uniform. Which one is the one you liked? Is this the one you liked? Uh no, nah, she's not in this game. Okay. I'll let you talk to the one you like in any way you want. Okay, for sure. Uh Okay. I think saw you man. Sorry, I'm, I'm thinking but I'm sorry, I'm looking at the primo strategy guide. How to get <laughs> Lola in only one turn okay don't be lame got it fuck anyway um i don't know i frankly all these are just fucking filler i think i like her new uniform let's keep it sexy <laughs> all right why thank you i designed it myself i thought the old one could use a little more less girl go back to the design school not, <laughs> you can just reason why you're a flight attendant <laughs> you can just wear whatever you want everything. Still young though, so I don't want to quit my day job just yet. Enough about me though. Let's talk about you. What brings you out to Ina de Puna? A plane. Tell her the truth. Oh, darn it. <laughs> oh, Dad, I was hoping you would let us tell her the, tell her the truth. <laughs> you wouldn't believe me if I told you. I thought I'd just treat myself to a nice relaxing vacation. I'm looking to score some of that sweet tropical tang. <laughs> tropical, tropical tang. <laughs> How did I know you were going to say something like that? I'm actually going to be enjoying a little time off on the island myself. I'm meeting up with an old friend of mine for a little vacay we've been planning forever. So, you want to join the Mile High Club? No. <laughs> <laughs> you really want to say no? Uh, you want to say yes? <laughs> What's that? Some kind of rewards program? <laughs> Oh god, all of these are really good. I like Frankly, I, like I don't want to I don't want to say yes. Let's go middle ground. I even want to, yeah, yeah, let's go middle ground. You're right. Mm, something like that. <laughs> it's definitely rewarding. I'm going to pretend I, I have so. to go to the bathroom, but I'll leave the door unlocked. Wait a couple minutes so you don't raise any suspicion, okay? <laughs> 